Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi, and today we're taking a look at the new Natasha Denona Mini Pastel Palette, as well as the new highlighter that came out. This is the Pastel Plexi Glow. And you can see here that, you know, it, you have kind of this soft gold sheen everywhere, and you have this corner here, it's kind of like this little angle here is a bit of a minty green, and here we have a minty pink. And let's start off with swatches of everything. We're gonna start off with swatches of the highlighter. So first, let's just take a look at the pink on its own. And you can see that although it looks pink on the skin, it really does have more of a gold glint. When the light hits it, you see a tiny bit of pink, but honestly, it's gonna be mostly gold. Then let's go in the middle here, which is just the pure gold. And you can see there is more of a contrast between that and the pink one. The pink one definitely has a bit more of that peachy pink look to it when it's mixed with the gold compared to the center shade, which is a little bit more of a softer, whiter gold. And then this is the green. And you can see there's a faint green hint there as well. Let's just go ahead and mix all of them together. And let's put that right like that. So you can see all three shades mixed together. Now, do you really see like an isolation of the pink and the green when you do that? No, not really. Uh, and honestly, even on their own, the pink and the green are kind of hard to see separately. Like you're not gonna look at somebody's face and be like, oh, I see pink in there. Uh, but it might just be like a little trick of the light. So that is the highlighter palette. We'll talk about details of that in a few minutes. Let's first swatch the mini pastel palette. And I have to say, when I first saw this, you know, it just kind of reminded me a little bit of the mini retro in the photos because you have kind of this like gold shade, this like silvery, that silvery green kind of combo and a pink. Uh, but they are actually very, very different and we will compare them later. So mini retro, mini pastel. And let's go ahead and swatch all of these. So this is the gold shade. Look at that. There is going to be a little bit of a, you know, reflect in there. You can see it goes a bit pink, a little bit of a rosy gold shade here. And this is going to be called Aurora. And then our pink at that it's just like a nice soft creamy pastel pink and then we have kind of this silvery blue by the way the pink is twiggy this silvery blue is Ontario and you can see it's going to be a soft blue with a hint of silver so it's definitely more blue than silver we have a matte green called Ari And you can see it's just kind of your nice, kind of like a bright mint. And then we have this deep blue called Sea Star. And look at that, really beautiful. And this shade here, you can see kind of where I feather that out. If you apply this with a brush, you can get a really light soft blue like this, whereas you can get something much deeper with your finger application here. And this gold, when you use this um, more just with a brush, you're getting more of a soft dusting of the color. You can, of course, build it up. But if you want just like a soft golden shimmer, you can get this. But if you want this more pigmented, you really want to use a finger application. So I have a couple of eye looks just playing around with the palette and the highlighter. So let's take a look at those while we discuss these products a little bit. Let's start with the highlighter. So the highlighter is a little bit more expensive than I had expected it to be. It does retail for 42 US dollars. It's made in Italy, it's vegan, not tested on animals, paraben free, alcohol free, preservative free, mineral oil free, and so much more. And it has an 18 month shelf life. We have six grams of product. And there is a note on the box that says light affected. So just something to note there. But I think it's a really nice highlighter. It's very smooth. It's, you know, it, it, there's some powder kick up in the pan and so forth, but it's definitely a really beautiful highlighter. And, you know, this would also be very beautiful on the eyes as well. I did use it on the inner corner of today's eye look, but you could use this all over the, for shadow as well. So I think it's a really beautiful highlight. 
Now, if you really want to see a bit more distinction with the pink and the green shades on there, you really do want to use them separately. And a denser brush than what I used in these demos here would apply that better, even a finger application. But again, this will be very beaming then. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it depends how much highlight you like. I like mine to be a little bit more subtle. So I did use a fluffy brush. It was a Sonia G detail brush from the Lotus set. And when you apply this with a fluff airbrush, you really don't notice so much of the color difference. So it's really just gonna be more of that soft gold radiance. But keep in mind, this is not a subtle highlight regardless. Overall, I'd have to say that I do really like the highlighter. I think it is a really nice formulation. It's comfortable to use, very easy to use. And I like the color. I like how you might see a little bit of nuance of color mixed into the gold. But one of the things I like about this is a lot of highlighters are gold and they are a very yellow gold. This is definitely much more of a white gold. So you've got some coolness to it, but you also have some warmth warmth. So I just think it's a little bit more versatile and it works better on my complexion than many of the gold highlighters do. So overall, I'd have to say the highlight is really nice. I do like that. Moving on to the palette. Now the Natasha Denona pastel palette came out this year in the midi size. And I have to say it was one of my favorite palettes this year. I really do like it because it's just it's more unique. There's just a lot of color that's inspirational. It's not going to be for everybody, but I did really like it. When I first saw this mini pastel, I was a little disappointed because I, I don't know, I just didn't really think, to me, it didn't speak to me the same way the pastel midi size did. Like they just didn't really seem to connect as well as I thought until I actually received it and looked at it in person. And now I really see the connection. And this palette is made in Italy. It is not tested on animals. It's gluten-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, preservative-free, mineral oil-free, UV filters-free, uh, DeFi-free, and more. <laughs> so notice though, this one does not say that it is vegan. So just something to note there, the highlighter specifically said vegan. This eyeshadow palette does not. It does have a two-year shelf life, and we have five shades and they are 0.8 grams each. So, you know, I think overall though, it's really beautiful. And I believe all five of these shades are new. Now, as for the performance of these eyeshadows, I have to say they perform really well. I am very impressed with this palette. You have a variety of different finishes, which Natasha Denona is known for. You've got varying types of metallics, creamy mattes, and so forth. And I really like them. I really like how you can see kind of a difference with brush versus finger application and so forth. So, you know, the green matte, you know, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to use that before, but I do really kind of like that more like smudged under the lashes or deeper in the crease. And I think it's a really beautiful shade and mixing the green matte, like kind of as a base and topping it very softly with either the sea star the deeper blue with a brush application or the silvery blue which is called ontario i think those combinations there just give it a really nice kind of like icy look i really love it so i have to say you know although i wasn't originally i mean i liked the palette when i first saw it but i wasn't really seeing much of a connection i wasn't like as drawn to it I really do like this mini and I am very impressed with this mini and I just find it fun to play with. So it's definitely not going to be your everyday neutral looks. You can create those using like the gold and the silvery blue. So that's Aurora and Ontario. Even the pink twiggy shade, you know, can go very neutral, but you know, you're not going to get your traditional like browns and grays per se but you can definitely get a neutral leaning look with this or, you know, brighten it up with some fun color. So I think this is really fun to play with. If you were interested in the pastel palette, originally the midi size, and you know, you just didn't think you were gonna use all those colors, so you passed on it, this might be a really nice way to try it out. So let's go ahead and move on to some comparisons. So I have one highlighter comparison that I wanna share with you, and that is my favorite. <laughs> the Duo de Camellias from Chanel, which has been, you know, it was a limited edition item. So we've got two shades here, a gold 
and it's really more of a white gold than a silver but I wanted to compare these because this shade here is a bit more like of a, a white gold as well so I think it's oh, that didn't really show up well let's re-swatch that Okay, so you can see here how similar it is. If you look at this middle shade, which is just pure gold or this mixed in, you can see how similar it is to the Duo de Camellias, which is my favorite. I have to say I really like it and I'm just glad to have found something so similar to this since this is limited edition. So if you missed out on this, I do think the Natasha Denona, it's, it's not gonna be the same, you know, it's, it's not going to be a dupe, but it is the closest I have come to the Duo de Camellias since this has come out. So I would definitely recommend it if it was one that you were, you know, looking for. Now here's the mini pastel and here is the midi size pastel. So, you know, you can kind of see this looks a little bit deeper and brighter. You've got kind of the same kinds of tones and colors, but notice these are more like leaning like aqua, pinky, lavender. You've got more of those softer cornflower blues. So, you know, this is really like a nice addendum to it. Let's go ahead and just swatch a few similar shades. We're going to swatch tool and dainty here uh, compared to twiggy they are not really going to be quite the same let's see here so this one here is tool this one here is twiggy and you can see the difference in tone you can see how much more like it's got a little bit more blue in this pink it's a little bit more of a lavender pink and the tool is going to be warmer it's also a matte so you can see there's definitely going to be a difference there as for the blues we really only have these two blues there's bubble which is kind of like a powder blue and this light shade called Airy. Those aren't really gonna match up with either of these, but let's go ahead and put them here so you can kind of see the difference. You can see here that the cornflower blue shade called Bubble, this one here, is going to be closest to this, but there's a lot more silver and there's shimmer. So Bubble and Airy are both gonna be mattes. So that's kind of your closest to that. These greens, honestly, these are gonna be much more aqua. This here is Brink. We can look at this and let's just see how this one compares. We just don't have anything that's that green in the pastel palette. Uh, this here is Aquatic, which is going to be much more of a metallic, like kind of teal shade. Let's go ahead and put that there. You can see how much more blue all of the greens are in the pastel palette. So that was kind of a big difference. We don't have anything really that's silvery or gold. And then this, um, yeah, that basically covers everything in that palette. So I do think it's a nice addition, but they're not going to be dupes. Let me go ahead and swatch the mini retro palette. And again, you know, it just kind of popped in my head when I originally saw it. I knew the colors would look different on the skin, um, you know, in, in swatches, but it did just remind me of it. I might be the only one though. So, um, you know, this here is the mini retro and yeah it really not like it at all um but yeah it did just make me think of that so that's actually going to be it for our comparisons today because honestly this palette is pretty unique in my collection you know the pastel palette really doesn't match up i don't really have any other you know color story palettes like this i might be able to find like one or two shades kind of spread out amongst you know other things you know this gold shade is going to be similar to something you could find in a pat mcgrath mothership you know, this pink is actually gonna be a little bit cooler in tone than the ones that she uses. But, you know, you could probably find similar tones, you know, looking through a wide variety of items, but finding them all in one place, uh, I, it's nothing that I have. So I have to say, I really like it. I think it's fun to play with. I think it's a really nice choice. So again, I think this is gonna work for people who want like something fun to play with or, you know, this is a great travel palette because again, you can create something kind of neutral with the Ontario and what was the gold shade, the Aurora shade. You can get kind of like a more classic neutral look. You can even just get something really light by brushing on one of the colors on its own. Or you can really kind of, you know, have a little bit more fun and get something more fun and playful with it. And so this 
it kind of becomes a really nice vacation palette as well, just for those reasons. So I think it's a really good purchase, you know, if you are drawn to those colors, which I personally am. So I would love to know your thoughts, whether you pick this up. The mini palette does retail for 27 US dollars and is available at a variety of retailers right now. So um, overall, I'm very happy with this Natasha Denona purchase. And yeah, you know, this is probably one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes, actually. So I'm really happy with that. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please share them down below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and happy new year.